Today I want to take a look at legacy authentication and the connect PMP online commandlet. Here in the PMP repo we can see a connections example that has one line 14 for app ID and app secret. That allows us to connect without using Windows authentication. And a lot of tenants you'll have legacy auth disabled for security reasons, still need to connect, so you want to start using the app ID and app secret. Over here, we can take a look at some PowerShell code, and in a new console, we can go ahead and connect to a tenant. Of course, we'll be prompted for username and password. And here we can see that legacy authentication is currently enabled and allowed on this tenant. So if we go ahead and do our, our set command to disable legacy, and then echo back the configurations to confirm it. We now have legacy disabled. At this point, we can go back to our documentation, look at the example, and we need an app ID and an app secret. So you want to navigate to the layouts app reg new page, which we'll do over here from the root level. And here we can generate a client ID, generate a client secret. Our instructions tell us to provide localhost as the domain. I'm going to go ahead and make a note of the client ID and client secret. Put those over here in our PowerShell file. Excellent. So here we can click Create. And now we've successfully created a new client ID and client secret. In a new window, we're going to open the app invite page, which allows us to grant permissions. So here we can take the client ID that was generated, paste that into our app ID, And for the permission XML, we want to provide this block here without the hash comment prefix. And we'll click Create. Do you trust PMP test? Have full control of all site collections. And here we're getting an error message that your tenant administrator has to approve this app and the button is disabled currently on the main site collection of this tenant and logged in with GA permissions. In order to get that resolved, what we have to do is open the app invite from the admin URL. Right now we're on the main tenant URL. If we do the exact same address but with the word admin, we should be able to go ahead and move forward. So we take our client ID, put it into the lookup. That populates a lot of the details. And then for the permission request XML, take out those comments from the PowerShell code. Now we have a valid trust button and we're doing this from our admin URL. So we can go ahead and click trust. And that's successfully completed. So at this point, we're ready to start using our connect PMP command. We'll go ahead and execute that over here. And we do need to provide a URL for what we're trying to connect to. Specified our URL. So now we can do $w for get web. And echo back the list that are on that web. There we are. So we successfully connected to PMP Online using an app ID and app secret, providing it full access to all site collections and we disabled legacy authentication. Thanks for watching.